Hello beautiful Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. I hope you're doing oh so well. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK. If you're new to the channel, what is up? I'm also a Virgo. And if you'd like to in the comment section, let me know a bit about yourself, where you're from. I'm always intrigued to know where my viewers are from. So I'm gonna do an inventory spread. I already picked out past and present energy. I'm gonna do future energy with you. I've also got some oracle messages. Um, hope you're doing all right, Virgs. Let's jump into this. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you find that it resonates with you in any way. You're not obliged to do so, but it really does help us readers. You can also book me for a personal, catch me for live tarot, follow me on the socials, all of that jazz, okay? So, past energy, ooh la la. We've got the Seven of Swords. Maybe you were recently... I mean, it could have been yesterday. It could have been last year, okay? Take it as it resonates, but it's past energy. Seven of Swords is you know someone deceiving you or you could have done the deceiving take it as it resonates um somebody that uh, hmm. you see the seven of swords talks about lying to yourself or, uh, uh, or or secrets it can talk about betrayal um someone that's being very strategic in what they do because if you see here he's come to visit somebody in the picture right and she's got her hands crossed like where have you been and he's hiding something whether it's a present so sometimes not everything's always as bad as it seems but we also got the seven of cups and the ten of cups in reverse so what we got here is not only deceit or some sort of betrayal or something a bit secretive or whatever we also got confusion okay and the ten of cups in reverse is disputes and miscommunications so i feel like something happened here which perhaps left you confused okay it could have been an option that you had okay maybe you picked the wrong option because it, you know it's, it's it's led to this all right and that is a disharmony now this could have been a family member a lover a situation you know but um you are big and no better you know exactly what that is about forever that is about you know a situation here where something was done or said or found out left you confused and uh, and really it, it, no stability right no actual really proper emotional satisfaction not what virgo truly wants right so present energy we have the star card, the high priestess, and the nine of pentacles. So some of you are single, okay? Um, some of you, if you're not single, I feel like, a, you know, the nine of pentacles is a gratitude card. This is someone that's happy, enjoying life, grateful for the little things. The high priestess, Taurus energy, the month of May, February here as well. And I feel like uh, the number 17 may have some sort of significance here for you. I think um, present energy, you are keeping the faith. You're hopeful. I feel like the universe is on your side because you've done a lot of lessons. A lot of lesson work's been done here from this past situation to now. I feel like um, you are becoming more bolder, more stronger, uh, more spiritual, believing in your own your own self-worth your own mm, perspective it's like you know you have the answers right some of you are highly spiritual some of you really inspire other people i mean a lot of you virgos you inspire other people right people can go to you for advice people want to go to you for advice you make people hopeful you inspire others and you're feeling quite inspired right now with life like it's almost like you know you're gonna be all right regardless like you know you'll get through any situation i feel like the energy is very positive right now so yeah we have aquarius energy here taurus energy but i feel this gratitude this positive uh uplifting energy you know where um a lot of lessons have been learned for virgos or you're learning a lot about yourself about what it is that you want and i think ultimately the energy the vibe is positive like regardless you know a lot of you actively know you don't want to get into a mind space where you are not hopeful and you lose the faith and you want to give up because in times we 
it happens right you don't want to do nothing and you want to give up and you're like oh what's the point but i feel like a lot of you are really pushing on like regardless of any outcome okay that's what i see two more for future energy for virgo please one more card for future energy see i love it i'm here for it the wheel of fortune good karma good karma so you got the the wheel of fortune which represents sagittarius energy sagittarius energy is very much you know they live life to the fullest they're always learning new things and definitely there's lessons that are being learned here karmic lessons are being all um are coming to the surface or all, all, all karmic lessons are being learnt here with that hyphen energy and i feel like a lot of you are standing your ground protecting your energy yeah you're very protective of your peace a lot of you like your own space you're working on shit like you got you got bigger fish to fry that's the energy that i'm getting here Virgs. yeah you know you know that life has opportunities there for the taking you got a lot of ideas that you want to bring into fruition and you know it would take a lot of hard work it would take that sacrifice of needing to not necessarily push people away but taking time for yourself and saying no you know i love that wheel of fortune that just goes to show that the universe is on your side the universe is gifting you or going to gift you for 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 all your hard work it's like it's almost like a lucky break you know all the chaos, everything that you've been through, you use it to your advantage, okay? And uh, there's a turning point in your life right now. You're going through some sort of turning point here. And shit is changing here. Like you're transforming into something. There's fate here. Something is destined. And it's definitely to do with opportunities, new beginnings, uh, you know, good news further skilling yourself training yourself new connections exploring you know the page of pentacles is very much an explorer type of card exploring what could be making your plans a reality right the number seven may be some sort of significance ah there we go three sevens on your table um go and check out the number seven 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 the angel number because it's actually been the number for me the last few days definitely 100 percent. so i feel like uh there is definitely a message here with regards to the number seven or seven 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 or double seven with a lot of virgos okay but um i see you guys expressing yourself you know at times we feel vulnerable vulnerable is okay because uh you're grounding yourself but at the same time, I feel like you're also protecting yourself. There's growth here, Virgo. Continue to share your ideas. Continue to live your life. Continue to express yourself. Haters are going to be there. People are not going to want to see you happy. I promise you, people are not going to want to see new connections in your life or, or, or something like that. But it's okay. Their opinion is not valid. And, and that's it, really. So, um, you got... Let's get to these oracle. Oh, no, no. We have to go to the... No, we've done the future energy. So, let's talk about your oracle messages. So, you've got mural. And it talks about be your own first priority. Okay? This is about not forgetting yourself and not forgetting who you are. Because we're always fast to put other people first and forget ourselves. And then wonder why we're feeling a bit heavy or drained and stuff like that. Whatever you're currently gra uh, grappling with, you must put yourself first, Virgo. When you're on an aeroplane, they always tell you to put on your own oxygen mask before you try to help your neighbour with theirs. That is to say, if you don't make sure your own energy bar is full, then you'll have no energy to give someone else. Be brave enough to admit when you need to take a step back from the demands of others and work on making sure you're okay. You're okay. So whatever that is, cleaning, painting, taking that me time out whatever it is for you so be honest with yourself look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation it's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels wings 
wedding. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-found faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. You got um, brown... I think it's called Argate. Have you been spending time in nature? How does your garden grow? Whether you live in a small city, apartment, or an expansive farm, you can always find a way to establish your roots in earth and nature. Use the negative ions of the mountain, sea, or air for your overall well-being. You've got an affirmation side. I'm a caretaker of the earth. I spend time in nature. My connection with fairies is strong and I'm a good gardener. It's easy to open myself up to allow the light in. I unlock the secrets of my soul. You've got ask your angels. Ask your angels to lift your load. Ask your angels for visions. Um, ask them to talk to you through music. Show you signs that you're on the right path. If you're needing a little bit of comfort, needing some advice, call out on them. They'll send you messages. Trust. Trust in in, in the motion. Trust in the divine. Trust that your the process. Trust in the process. Trust that everything's all right. Okay. Trust in the magic of life. You also got the ten of wands. Too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. And I definitely think that's more. You guys need to put yourself first. Life is going to be a struggle at times. Life is going to feel a bit like a battle. But um, all is well. And, and don't forget to talk to people. Ask for help. You've got a lot of responsibilities. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. Okay? Because you are a genuine person. You are an original. There is no... Everything else is a copy. It's a clone. This is nice. This is exciting. Like There's some good news coming your way. That's what we get. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Make sure you go and check out the love reading that I'm about to do. Friggin' love you guys. As always, it's a pleasure. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. And I'll catch you on the rebound, my darlings. Mwah.